Hello? Hello? Hey, Raghu. Hello? Then we will start. Hello? Hello, Rahul? Yeah. Sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, Prana. Uh, sir, one so, more So, uh, the other student is ready or? No, no, no. One more student is there, sir. Okay. He asked for two minutes, but he didn't join. Okay, can you call him once again? Yeah, if he is taking more time, then. Yeah, sir, I have called and have dropped a mail also. Oh, okay. Maybe he is joining it. If we don't leave the call, uh, we'll continue, sir. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's on the way to meet. Okay, he's in the process of joining. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Sir? Yeah. Yes, Abhinna. Sir, continue. Yeah, yeah, I'm there, yeah. You continue with Rahul, sir. He's not joining? No, sir. Okay. He's not joining, okay. Uh, he may join, sir. His phone is getting switched off. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, you okay. continue with Rahul, sir. Okay, sure. Rahul? Okay. Ha Rahul? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rahul. So, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll take care. Okay, continue. Sir. Hi, Rahul. This is, this is, hi, hi Rahul. Uh, this is Santos. Hi. Uh, so, hi, Rahul. So, um, so, since the other guy is not joining, I'll just explain you today, you know, since it's a demo class. I'm going to explain you, uh, you know, what are the topics I'm going to cover as part of this training, and uh, you know, be another details, the topics and all I'll be explaining you. So before going to the topic, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Santos, and I have around seven years of experience in uh, uh, SAP workflow, and uh, you know, I have already, yeah, so I have trained around more than 30 students so far. So, uh, and I have a uh, no good uh, knowledge. So, what are the topics you wanted to know? I'm going to, now I'm going to explain you the topics which I'm going to cover. If, if something is missing or something, if you want to add, we can add it. So, that also I can cover it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, sure. So, let's start. Okay. So, these are our topics. This is page number one of our topic. So I'll be explaining you the complete concept of the Burgo Builder. Uh, so before going to that, uh, no, just I wanted to uh, know about you. Uh, so can you, uh, know, uh, briefly uh, explain about yourself? Like, uh, are you part of other background or uh, other background, and how many years experience mm -hmm. you have? So that, yeah, I have a four plus experience in SAP Aviab. Oh great, okay. And uh, you have any knowledge in workflow, or like you are new to workflow? Uh, what is the I'm level new, of your... I am new to workflow. Okay. 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 So okay. I want to study from the starting. Oh, great. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So now, uh, so these are the topics, uh, Raghul. Like uh, there are two main parts of workflow, which is workflow builder. And uh, these are all the topics under the workflow builder it will be like activity, send email, user decision, conditions, multiple conditions, event creator, wait for event, container operation, process control, loop, fork, blog, and local workflow. So these all topics will cover in the workflow builder. And the other one is the business objects. So business object has four parameters, which is key fields, attributes, methods, and events. So I will be explaining you each and everything of this. What is the use of it? and with the real time practical scenario and uh, what is the use of this and where we will use uh, what are the options it has to use it and uh, the clear 
picture of this and uh, sometime I will give some notes also so that in later point you can come and refer it back. Okay. And uh, these bindings, yeah, binding is between the values passing from you know uh, uh, builder to business objects. So we have four, five bindings: event binding, method binding, task binding, workflow binding, and container binding. So I will be explaining this also. Okay. And as per as part of the page two, so I will be explaining you the agent determination, which is very tough part in the workflow. So how to find the agents? So when you want to send some mails, we can send a mail to one person or we can send mail to n number of people. So how, what are the ways to find the agent determination, I will be explaining you in clearly. So these are all the uh, topics under the agent determination and few of the advanced topics which nobody knows actually which it's there is very powerful topics but most of the people not aware of that. So those topics like program exits check function model delegations, exception handling in workflow, substitution, I will be explaining that also. And uh, in case if you have uh, some, you know, already implemented workflow and it's in production right now and suppose if you got any error, how to fix the error, how to see the container values, how to change the container in the runtime value, uh, container values in the runtime, how to delegate a work item, how to forward a work item as part of the administrator and how to execute a work item. So I'll be explaining this as well. So, so you you will, uh, you will give a system for practice also. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yes. Uh, so so I'll be explaining you to in the screen so same system only. So uh, so I'll be creating one workflow and uh, the same system will be given to you so that whenever you have doubt, so you can go and refer that uh, workflow which I created. And meanwhile, I will give some you know, uh, important notes also. So these two will be uh, you know, very much useful for you to refer, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, and uh, as, as part of the page three, so I will be explaining you how to trace the event, how to create the event, how to attach the event, the event linkage, uh, using standard event, so trigger, uh, trigger the event using user exit, local workflow events and uh, no other topics. So okay. Nice. okay. So see these are all the parts related to workflow events. So this is the page number three and uh, the other one is I will be explaining you the deadline monitoring concepts and uh, how to trace the workflow logs and how to debug the method, how to trace the email and the class based workflow. Okay. Uh, Aparna, can you mute your sir? Hello? Hello, Aparna? Yes, sir. Hello? Okay. No, can you can you mute, mute your uh, point? Yeah, can you mute your point? You are getting background noise. Uh, sir, sir, hello? Okay, thank you. Sir? Yeah, yeah. Sir, one more student is arrived, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I will okay. Ask him to join. I will explain once again. Amul? Rahul, is it okay? I will be explaining once again. Oh, that if you give me a uh, online system, I can uh, create the workflow in that system. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the main. No, if you unless if you are uh, able to create, then it is not uh, useful, right? Definitely, we will give a system. And uh, no, there, there we can go and you can practice it and you can execute, you can create it, you can practice whenever you have doubt, you can ask me all, you can do all these things. Definitely will give you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I guess other student is joined. Can you, is it okay for uh, you, I means I will explain once again the same topics. Is it okay for you? No, yeah, it's okay for me. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, is the other guy giant now? May you know, may you know his name? Your name? Hello? Aparna, can you, can you tell me the name of the other person who joined? Ha, sir? Hello? Yeah, sir? 
Yeah, yeah. Can you can you please let me? Who is the person joined right now Amul. along with the Rahul? Amul. 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 Amul, are you there? Are you there? Amul. Amul. Uh, okay. Uh, Hello. Sir. Amul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Amul is there. Something problem with him, I, I think. You continue with yourself, sir. Uh, yes, yes. I am here okay. now. Amul? Yeah, yeah, I am here. Yeah, okay, Amul. There is no connection problem, so why Yeah, yeah, okay. Continue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Amul, then no problem. So, yeah, yeah, I'll continue. You can mute your session. Yeah, Okay. So, hi, Amul, and hi, Ragul. So let, sorry for the inconvenience. Let us means let us start from the first first now. So maybe Rahul, it will be repeated for you. Uh, hi Amul, can you can you hi. hear me clearly? Is yeah, my yeah. voice clear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So yeah, already I explained a few things to Rahul. So now I'm I'm going to explain you once again from the scratch. Okay. So uh, both of you welcome to the you know, workflow uh, training uh, sessions. So I am Santos. So I will I will be the faculty here. So let me introduce myself. And uh, now I have around seven plus years of experience in workflow, and I have done around uh, nine to ten implementation in workflow, and I have been training uh, students. So maybe more than thirty students I have trained so far. And uh, so right now I have. With my experience, I have made a PPT which will give you the you know, uh, topics uh, which is very very much useful for the pressure like you know who wants to learn workflow. Those topics will be it's enough. That's all. Those are the topics are available. But sometimes you no, know, based on the client requirement, some uh, few things they want to learn. So we can add that also at the end of the things. Okay. So let's me share my screen and I will uh, you know explain you the topics which I am going to cover. Okay, so and uh, before that, uh, is Amul, are you uh, from uh, ADAPT background? How many years of experience you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? So how many years experience you have? 4.5 years of experience in ADAPT. Oh, great, yeah. So you have any knowledge in workflow, like little bit or uh, no, how much are you? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'm only aware of the okay. workflow, but I don't have complete knowledge. Just I have to go through knowledge. Okay. okay, okay, no problem. So as Raghul also new to workflow, so I will be explaining you from the scratch. So I will treat you as a basic, both of you as a pressure in workflow, and like that I will I will train you completely. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Here are these are the topics which I am going to explain you. There are four pages in my topic list. See, this is the page one of the page one. So, as I said, there are two main part of the workflow. One is a workflow builder. So, other one is the business subjects. So, as part of the workflow builder, I will be explaining to these all the thirteen steps. In all the steps, I will be explaining you with a practical scenario. So I will create our steps in the system, and uh, I will like with that system only I will explain you what are the things are there in the step, step what are the uh, subdivisions are there, what is the use of it, where we will use. I will give some notes also, and you know, and how to use it, how to create it, how to call. So all the steps I will be explaining you. So like activities, send mail, user decision. So you can just read out these are the topic. I will, these are the no maximum uh, steps available in the workflow, and this one thing. And as part of the business subject, I will be explaining you the key field, attributes, attributes, methods, and events. So, what is the use of the key field? How to create a key field? How to create an attribute? How to create an attribute? How to define the method? And how to delegate the method, uh, business object? How to call a method? How to use a method in the business object? And how to use the method in the business, uh, workflow? and how to create an event, what are the ways to create events. So like that, every part of this topic will be explained. And how, what are the bindings options available. Uh, so what is the event binding, method binding, task binding, workflow binding, container binding. All I will be explaining you with the real type scenarios. Okay, so this is the page one of my topic. 
So shall I go to page two? Are you going go through it? Hello? Amul? Hello? Hello? Santos, sir? Yeah. Sir, I yeah. went off, sir. He's offline now. You continue with Rahul. Oh, sir. my God. Oh, my God. It's, uh, okay, what I'll do is now I'll continue only with Rahul. Okay, Once sir. he come, I will take separate session. So, because Rahul also getting disturbed. Okay, yeah, yeah. So ask him to wait for 10-15 minutes. I will finish it and uh, I will uh, take a session with uh, this guy. Amul. Okay, sir. Sir, maybe a uh, network issue. Yeah. I'll talk to him tomorrow morning, sir. And I'll let you know, sir. If there any, uh, if you want demo, I'll be sending you his, uh, I mean, uh, record a session. Or else we will uh, schedule a demo with other yeah, students, yeah. sir. Why do you take the two sessions today, sir? Right? So we have other students, yeah. right? So okay. we will take yeah, yeah. Okay, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so these are the other topics. So, Raghul, let us continue this. Okay. So, any doubt, any other things you, you feel, uh, no? Uh, these are the topics I will be explaining you. So, when I am explaining that time, so if you feel the something, uh, which you wanted to learn or uh, which is not there in the topics, you can ask me, I can explain that as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let us start the session today. Like uh, I will just give you the brief explanation about the workflow and other uh, things. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, what is workflow? I'm going, uh, as part of this demo session, I will be explaining you what is business workflow and what is the use of the business workflow and what are the things are there in the workflow just I will be explaining you okay okay see this business workflow is see basically this workflow is not only a SAP module okay this workflow it's not only there in SAP it is there in all the platforms you take it Java you take it JotNet you take it Oracle or you take it any technology workflow concept is available. So what is this workflow is anything you do in the system like you know anything you are happening and you wanted to make that thing to autom you know, think to make automatically to happen that's called workflow. Okay so in clear way like you know uh, see you take your uh, leave request okay so you are an employee and you will be have your manager okay whenever you want to apply your leave what you will do you will go to a portal and you will write the you take the respective types and they, you will write the description and you will just say submit okay the moment you click on submit then it will it will indicate to your manager right okay yeah so your manager will go and see that the so you have applied for the request on this so and so date so he, if he wants to approve, then he can go and approve the leave or if he has any other issue, then he will go and reject it. Okay, so these are the options he can do. So this is the you know, a general uh, process. Okay, so if you, if you want this general process, if you want to make that general process to come in the workflow, so what we can do is whenever you are, apply, whenever you are you know, clicking on the submit button, when you are applying the leave, so you can, uh, you know, we can trigger some automatic mail to intimate your manager. Okay. okay. So manager, once it's received, then he can directly go and approve or reject based on the decision. It may, it directly come to you. The whatever the decision he has taken, the decision he can, can come to you. Just assume that if there is no workflow and other steps are involved in this, so how you will do this, this one? So the steps will be, you need to go and uh, write a mail to your manager saying that, sir, subject will be leave request, sir, I am going for leave on so and so date. So, and you will say, you will put your manager as a user, you know, email ID too, and you will send to your manager. And your manager has to open your outlook and he has to see, and based on the outlook, he has to reply to you saying that approved or reject. Correct? 
So if there is no workflow, this is the things we have to follow, correct? Yeah. Yes. So in this way also they are following, but what will happen if after one year or after five months, so if you want to take the report of yours, okay, so how many leaves he is approved, he has, uh, you applied so far. So if you want to take the report of this, is it easy for him to take it from the outlook? Yeah, it's it difficult. will be a tedious stuff. Yeah, it is very difficult, right? So maybe for you it is will be easy because you have only one manager, but for your manager has many reporters. So if you want to take one report of all these things, it is very difficult. So, so this is the advantage of using workflow. So when you go for the workflow, we can do some things automatically to you know we can send the mail automatically to a, a person or other people whoever you want to send we can send it on the top of it what is the advantage is we have all the log available in the workflow okay so over a period so over a period of six months or one year if you want to see what are the things uh, no what are the approval has happened what are the leave you have taken not only for the leave it for the appraisal or other things like uh, in PO release strategy, PR release strategy and when you're going for this, no, it's not easy to make everything manually. So you have to do the system automatically. You have to make, you, know, uh, you have to use the workflow only for that case. So when auditing comes for your company, they will go and see the workflow log only for the PO release strategy. So things are done if it is approved. Okay. So, so these are the you no know, basic use of the workflow. So, why we are calling this as a SAP business workflow is this workflow concept we are using it for SAP business. Means SAP we are using that SAP business purpose we are using this workflow. So that is why it's called SAP business workflow. Okay. So, yeah. So this is the you no know, just a brief explanation about the workflow. <coughs> So these are the you no know, just a theory part like you know what is the business workflow? It is is the tool which provides a and and business periodic process automatically. Whatever the business process is there, if you want to make that is automatically without any error, without any manual changes, then this is the business workflow. Okay. So other advantage uh, using workflow is in the leave approve only. So we have a concept called agent determination. So, if if when you want to send a mail to your manager, it's not like uh, you need to uh, manually go and uh, edit it. Like, so we have the agent determination concept that so when you are applying the leave, it will uh, we can we have the option to automatically take your manager ID and we can send to them. So that is called the agent determination. So very very important concept in the workflow. Okay. So agent is the person who we are going to send the mail or some we are going to intimate it. Okay. Okay. So we have the concept called agent determination that whenever a particular employee X is doing something, we can find his immediate boss or we can find his all the uh, other reportees or uh, other colleagues or other person who all are there in the band or other uh, people details, all the links between the employees, we can find it. For example, if you are a, a normal, you know, a team leader, so if for under you, how many people are there, those details also we can take. Or if you are a team lead, who, will, who you are reporting to which person, so those information we can take it. So if you are a team lead and under your manager, five team leads are there, who all are in the team lead position, those details also we can take. So it's like, suppose you are a person, you have three, four managers and uh, all the, whenever you are applying the leave, you wanted to send to all the four managers, let's assume that, then in that case also by using the agent determination, we can send to all the four managers at the same time. Okay. Okay. So another advantage is like one person is left the organization, other person is you know is recently joined. So all the changes which you are doing in the system, it will automatically adjust 
and the system workflow will go and see the latest change. It will find it based on the latest change. It will send the mail. So we 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 have the option to you know automatically take care of all the other things. So so these are the you no know, advantages using Workspace. And uh, this is how the workflow looks like. So this is the small workflow. So workflow will be like you know flow charts. So here is the trigger event is the start point of the workflow. So whenever workflow starts, it will go from the top to end down model. Like it will come here and it will check if it is true. Then it will go here. If it is false, it will come. Sometimes we will do the steps parallelly. And uh, so when you when you are ten standard level, you have the flow chart, right? So start. Yeah. Then it will go process. If it is success, it will go to the left side, side fail, right side, and again some steps. So it's just like that. So we have just define it and we will uh, execute it. So we always have the workflow. We'll have the start and the end. You so, and whatever we are seeing it here, these are called steps. Okay. Okay. So I will be explaining you all the steps and all the things, everything. In the practical scenarios, like whenever you are doing a small workflow, so I'll be explaining everything. Okay. Okay. And uh, on the top of it, I will be explaining you the like this. So what are the these are the tables, in, important tables of the workflow, and uh, important function modules of the workflow, and the important de transaction codes details. Very frequently we will use and what is the use of it? How to use the transaction code? And uh, you know what are the things we need? We will we will we will get it by using the transaction code. I will be explaining this to you. And also I will give some other documents also. So how I will take the class is so I will I I have a steps like this. So I will whenever we are I'm completing the class I will make that. Uh, topics as a you know uh, other color, so I will make it to some uh, you know this color. So it's like it's finished. So like that, each day when I'm taking the class, I will be covering this. So whenever you have doubt, so we can you can uh, note down and you can ask me anytime also. So it will take how many so days? Most of them. So it it's, it depends on you. If you want to learn it fast, if you want to spend more time, and if you want to learn. Too quick, so I can take it quickly. Or uh, however you want to learn, so it will take around 40 hours. It's an estimated one. Okay. So yeah, and uh, after that, you, they will be giving system to you. You can practice any time. But I will be the training times will be that much. But uh, like whenever you have some doubts, so we, it will extend also sometimes. Unless you are making it, you no, know, your okay. topics you have. Clear picture of the workflow. The topics will means we will be explaining them. Hello. So is the workflow tough or easy, according to you? You know, it is. If you have knowledge in uh, uh, ABAP, right? ABAP you have clear uh, means kind of function modules, table creations, function groups, and uh, yeah. all other things. You are very very confident, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then it's a very simple set. Like I will explain you it very clearly, so that it is it's very very simple. Only you know because this is like you know when you are we it's I learned the workflow myself when I am starting it. So at that time it took for me you know for each they're learning each topic it took one week and all. But when I explain this, you no, know, you can learn it in 15 minutes only. The top when you give the clear idea of the topics. If you know the logics, then it is very easy. I will explain the logic with a diagram, everything, architecture. So it is very very easy. So if you attend 10 days class, no. If you attend 10 days, you will have the confidence. Yes, I can do like that. Definitely, because I have trained so many students, and everybody has so satisfied like that. So even if I if you attend 10 classes, then you will get that confident also. That's for sure. Even one or two classes only, you will get the confident. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, can you show me on the system how the workflow is just a demo? Yeah. How to create okay. a.
Okay. Okay. So can you see my screen? So can you see? My yeah. Okay. So this is the transaction code for this is SWDD. So that is called workflow builder. Okay. Okay. So this is the screen. So as part of the workflow, if you know only two transaction code, that is more than sufficient. Two or three transaction code. Okay. So one is SWDD. It, this is just like your SEIT. So and uh, so okay. if you know about no, so if you if you know two transaction code which we can do everything right. One is SE80, another one is SE11. Correct? Yeah, yeah. So in SE yeah in SE80 we can create a program, we can create a function model, we can create a function group, we can create other steps, everything, model pool, everything we can create. And uh, SE11 yeah. we can go and create your uh, data dictionary tables, uh, domains, elements, and all other things. Correct? So in workflow also. So one good thing is yeah. like <laughs> I, I basically I am adapter and I am a workflow consultant. So I will when when the adapter is trying to learn it, I will trying to explain you as part of you know other person only, so that he can interlink the things and he can learn easily. So that's how I always teach. So in in workflow also we have two transaction code important transaction code like that, like uh, object SCAT is equal to SWDD. S W D D, which is workflow builder. If you have Notepad and Pen, you can just just note down also. Okay. Okay. And uh, S eleven is equal to S W O one business object. O one. Okay. Okay. So how? So when you want to create a workflow, we will go to. There are so many transaction code which we no need to know all these things. Only you come to SWDD. So here you just go and create. There will be a create button. Just click on create. Okay. So okay. this is the screen. It will look like. So it will be empty initially. The moment you go and just go and save it. Initially just save it. It will ask you the pop up. So it is just like you are. You know when you are creating this program. <coughs> it will ask the attributes, right? Attributes and other things. So it is just like attributes only, abbreviations and all. Okay. You can give any name here. So G test uh, underscore yeah, W F workflow one W F one. So you can give some description test workflow something and just give okay. So it will ask. The package, so I, I will save it in the local object. Okay. Okay. The moment you save it, you will get a workflow number here. So this okay. workflow number will is the unique number. Okay. Okay. So this is very very important because with the, in the, our reports and programs we have the name of the. Uh, you know, uh, program will be the unique, right? Program name will be the unique. But here, yeah. this workflow number number is a unique. So you can use the same name for n number of workflows. Okay. The test WF one only we can do for anything. But each one, whenever you giving, you will get the different different numbers. Okay. So that number will be two seventy four next time. So two seventy five uh, means will be the whenever when you create in the next time it will be two seventy four. Again, you are creating 275. It will be so. It will be increasing one by one. Number ranges. Okay. okay. First, two, two digit is called that uh, abbreviation for WS. WS is for the workflow template. Okay. So WS and the task when you are creating it will be TS. Okay. I will explain to you what is the task and other things. Okay. So, when the, whenever you wanted to create a workflow, so it will come like this. So here, if you go here and right click, and just say create. The moment you say create, 
so you have all the other things these are the topics available so i will be explaining you each and everything of this like what are the thing, what is the use of this what is the use of this what is the use of this everything okay okay so suppose if you wanted to send a mail so i will you have to select the send mail and just say okay right now i will be explaining you only the send mail okay send mail is the one which will send a yeah, mail to outlook okay okay you tell me whenever you are sending a mail to a, your manager means your outlook person what are the things you will give in the mail normally in outlook mail id and subject that's all other one subject and content and you will give right something uh, yeah yeah content content yeah these three only right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 exactly this yeah in the workflow also exactly the same first one is you have to give the sub email id select the email address and give the email id for for uh, testing purpose i will give my user id sorry my email id okay second one is the subject subject is just a uh, mail from sap workflow and here in the subject this is the subject here okay so i write hi hi uh this is sample So you can type whatever things you wanted to type. You can type like this. Okay, this only three important. Then you have to give okay. Here is okay, right? You have to give okay. Yeah. So this pop up comes. You can you can just give the same thing, no problem. Okay. And uh, every time this will ask. Uh, you need to if you are if you want to save it in a no tr. Then you can give the package and you can uh, save it in the DR. Else, you can use the local object. Okay. Okay. So, see, moment I give okay, it will come like this. Okay. Okay. You can save it and you can activate. okay so if you want to test this so this is a simple mail so if you want to test it you can press the f8 here and uh, you can just uh, click on this execute button is there no once again f8 yeah workflow is created uh, so you can uh, you can go and see the mail how to see the mail you know sost is the transaction code to check the mail yeah so you can see see i we have got the mail see this is the subject test mail from sap workflow and uh, here is the content so mail has to get successfully mail has to get successfully okay so okay okay yeah and uh, if you want yeah. to see the log so as i said everything you do in the workflow you will see the log instead it will be there in the system so here if you go and in the top you have the workflow log see this is the log so and this time 
So I'll take this and this is the time it's created and this is the time it's sent. If you want to see the flow chart, just click on this uh, button. It will take you to the flow chart. It will it is come like that. That green color shows the arrow. Since it's a very, very small workflow, it's not that much useful. But when you're taking the big workflow, it will tell you which, which way it went, what are the things. So, so those things I will be explaining you. Okay. Okay. So when you're going for the deeper session, then it will be. This is very, very, very small on, on me. So when we are maybe in the next session, I will be starting from the from the next session only. I will start from the you know yeah, practical scenarios. So it, you will not be executing like this. So however, I'm whenever I'm creating some workflow, that will be a practical scenario. Like how because I have done nine uh, SAP implementation, our workflow implementation. So with, I know what are the things will come in practically. So those things I will be explaining you. Like it, you can directly put those things in your resume also. With the blank you can go and put it because that is the thing in every company will be using it and that is the thing you will be doing it also in real time. After learning maybe the same requirement also you may get it. Okay. 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 So that is the... Okay, these are the simple things just for your things I just explained to you. But Hello? I, so the next session will be it will be like you know real time scenarios so i will not take something uh, randomly i will not explain you so before i ex i will explaining only i will explain the business scenario so i will tell you what is the business scenario why we are doing this hello? and how to do that so i will be explaining you hello hello yes, hello yes uh, i have one question yeah who is that yeah, yeah. Maintaining your mail ID, yeah, yeah. you have to change that to log here. Yeah. Mail is properly turned or not. Okay. So how to means uh, uh, interface with workflow to means uh, that mail ID? And how to trigger that? In between any in between any interface about that? Uh, sorry, what is your question? That is how to? Okay, yeah, yeah. How to? What is the your question? Yeah, how to interface means how to, to connect what that SAP uh, means uh, data to that mail ID. If you are mentioning that mail ID in Gmail, right? You are in execute that. Yeah, right. Means that that mail ID is hitted on the Gmail mail. Uh, is that uh, is Gmail yeah. ID, right? It means that that yeah, right. is yeah. on the Gmail ID. But it is how to interact with Correct. Internet. Yeah, so that is the basic setting available. So that is a server configuration we have to do. So there is a transaction code uh, Scott SCOT. So let me open that uh, transaction for you. See, slash O SCOT is the transaction code. Okay, Scott. So basically that basis people will do this configuration. So that's a one-time activity which we have to do. So here we have the SMTP configuration. Here if you double click on it, you have the mail server and the RFC mail host details you have to do. Basically you have to buy that, this mail host. Once you buy that and you can configure the mail host here. Okay, and you need to sign the internet and you can okay, set it. The moment you... Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly you have to take it. Okay, so that is the one. But the configuration are available here. Okay, this is the one way, and uh, the other question from ISO is like, yes, yes, okay, and the other question uh, from your side is how the workflow is sending a mail uh, from uh, system to Scott. See, this is from uh, SAP to Scott, Scott to Gmail, okay, so how SAP is sending to Scott is, there is another transaction code SWU3. SWU3. Okay, so what we have to do here is, so we need to create uh, an RFC destination here. Okay, so when we have to create a WF badge user ID and the RFC destination. Uh, maybe uh, what I can do is, maybe in the next session I can explain this also how to create and other things. But uh, all 
these things are a one time activity when now whenever you are implementing a new system at that time only you have to do this one it is not necessary that every time you need to go and do it okay. so most of the company the basis team will take care of this and they will implement it they, they will implement this so if at all it's like a new company and recently they come to the SAP and very first time we are going to execute everything then this may you uh, if there is no basis team available then we may need to do so if you wanted to know the steps I can explain you the steps or uh, I have some documents also step by step I can give you that also so based on this but these are the two transaction code which is useful for sending that mails and other details okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. By the way, what is your name? Amul? Or, uh, Amul. Amul only? Okay, okay. Hello. Maybe you disconnected. You got dis yeah, yeah, you got disconnected. So I started with uh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, Rahul. No problem, right? Okay. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, so for your information, these are the topics I will be covering it. So you can both of you just go go through the ones. So these are the topics. When I right click on it, these are the top. These are the points it will come. When you when you when I open the workflow, when I right click on it, so it is it has given us some topics, right? These are the topics. And uh, business. This is this is for us. Yeah, yeah. Amal. Simple work. We are providing any server about the for practicing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. We will give you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. How many months? We but have uh, I guess uh, it, uh, it will be for 40 hours more than that, I guess. That uh, Aparna uh, will uh, clearly tell about that details. Okay. So, as part of the topics, uh, these are the things that said. So, this is the agent determination <laughs> and the topics here. And uh, event related information uh, we can see here. And the workflow creation related this here. So, uh, Ragul and uh, Amul, any questions, uh, anything you wanted to ask? Oh, Tempo, yeah, Tempo, can you do, can you just send me the, all the topics or like email ID? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. What is the topic? Yeah, what topic you have to cover in that course? You have to send me all the topics. Yeah, sure. I will. I I can send it then. Okay. So, uh, any other doubts or anything? No, no. Both I of you. Have to go to the no, no. You just have to send me the topic. Uh, after that, I will have to just have to go to that topic and just. Uh, okay. What is your mail ID? Okay. I think my mail ID is in, uh, who is the lady, just have to send me the email, all the details. I think my mail ID is for you. <laughs> Hello? Sorry? Who is the, uh, that Aparna, right? Already. Somebody, yeah, yeah, some lady is called to me, I, I do not remember the name. I, I will give you, Amol. Ah, uh, yeah. Amol. A -M -O okay. Amol okay. dot. Uh. G-A-W. Amul, not Amul, Amul, A M O L. Oh, Amul, dot A G. Sorry, G. 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 God. G. Okay. Huh? Okay. A. A. A okay. Apple. W. Okay. W. W. A. Okay. Okay. N. N. N for huh, okay. D. D E E E for elephant. Okay, E okay. D E, e, e for not E G A W A N D E. D E okay. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. At the rate gmail dot com. Okay, sure. And uh, Rahul, you also want? Yeah. Okay. So, 
H U L okay. Dot. Dot. Nair. N A I R. N A I R okay. Eighty two. Eighty two. At gmail dot com. Okay. Okay. I will send the documents in. Uh, uh, flow, flow okay. Okay, flow topics. Okay, I will send it in two minutes. I'll just prepare it. In. Okay, and uh, what are the timings? Uh, is it okay for you both of you? Like which time you will be free? What time we can take the class? Like uh, um, hello, Amul and uh, Ragul. Sir, Hello. Uh, seven thirty is okay. Yeah. Morning time is okay or evening time is okay for you, both of you. Evening time. I'm free for morning. Evening, evening time, time, okay. For me. Yeah. So but you guys wanted to finish thing? it a little. No, no. You guys wanted to finish it fast, or you guys wanted to go slowly, or how you wanted to go? Because based on that, I will explain you. So we want to go by the concept logic. Yeah. No, that uh, I will not compromise on that. Even though I'm going fast or slow, but uh, I, it's like we can take two hours instead of taking one hour. We can take two hours. We can close it. But the concept, everything is the same only. So number of hours is the matter. So I will not skip anything and I will not you know go fast unless unless you say it's clear, sir. I will not take to the next topic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So sir, I, but on Friday. Finish. Yeah. But on Friday I will not be available in the evening. Okay. On weekends. Friday. Yeah, what about weekends? weekends? I am available. Okay. I'm available. So, if, yeah. So weekends we can spend uh, my, no two times also. Sometimes we can spend some you know uh, two hours or two and a half hours. So we can take some big topics and all. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Amol, for you, every day yeah. evening uh, what time is? Yeah. So every day yeah, evening what time you? I am giving the confirmation of timing on tomorrow. Because I am okay. planning some new project yesterday, so I oh. don't know what timing is. Meant what I am not aware uh, aware about the timing. Also, and okay. Also, also and uh, if at all, okay. So, sub, my one suggestion: if at all you have uh, some time in the morning tomorrow. Okay. So, now one chance is there. Like uh, you, you have any chance by. No, you can attend in the morning. Sometime like uh, seven o'clock to uh, eight o'clock, eight thirty. Is it fine or uh, it's not it's not possible for you? Yeah. You can tell me openly. Fine, yeah, yeah. Morning also fine. Yeah, yeah morning also fine. Uh, what about uh, uh, Rahul? Morning, because evening sometimes you may go. Uh, you can come later from the late up from the office and something. So just I I am asking your feedback like uh, morning time is it okay? Morning seven to eight thirty. Or sometime if you can wake up early also, you let me know your time. Based on that, I am ready. Okay, I have to think upon that. Uh, no, yeah, it is so okay. It's, yes, no, I am not forcing anything. Just I am asking your feedback so that you know it will be. We can you can take it. I am okay for anything. You think and you can let me know, or you can tell me the timings and all. I am I am flexible. So you can, uh, you, based on your flexible time, I am ready. Any time is okay. Okay. So, okay. So server details and other things you can uh, contact Arna. Uh, she will give you that details. And uh, these topics I will send you in uh, another five minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Samul, and thanks, uh, Raghul, for joining it. Okay. So nice to talk to you. It's great. Have a no, good day with you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Yeah.
बाय बाय गुड नाइट बाय 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 ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग Oh, mom, I have not paid, but I have to pay. Welcome to go to meeting